This is your girl, Miss Sophia, the diva. I'm sorry. I always do this to myself because I have two different personas going on. But in this capacity, I am Plant Lady Diva J. And I went plant shopping this weekend, of course, because it's Labor Day weekend and they have great sales right now going on. My excursions took me to a couple of places this weekend. Um, one was in Ackworth, Georgia, uh, which is north of where I currently reside in Cobb County. Uh, it's a place, a wonderful place that I think probably people should go explore. It's called Busy Bee Plant Supply. And like when you drive up, you're like, oh my God, where are like the plants, right? So you go in there and you, you kind of trace around their backyard, so to speak. But then when you go inside, they like all this great, these great plants, like stuff that's been on people's wish list and it's fairly priced. And most importantly, like two of my wish list plants were there and they were on sale. Like all the plants were 20% off. Okay. So Anyway, I'm excited. Uh, in addition to going to Ackworth prior to that, I stopped off at a place here in Smyrna that was having a farmer's market and uh, got some great finds there and made some new connections, I hope. Um, one in particular, the reason why I went is because there's this wonderful lady who I just found out while talking to her. She's from Funky Town, Fort Worth, so we're diffed of you girls. Um, uh, she has a uh, company uh, that provides plants, uh, because her prior background was in supply chain management, but Ryan Bradford, uh, she has a company. I asked her what she's going to do brick and mortar that's on the table, but not completely final. But I really was intrigued in talking to her and, uh, really inspired me. And she also gave me a couple plants because she's like, they just need some TLC and I'm not going to sell these to people. So I will share those right now. It's the same plant. It's called a ficus audrey, and she's right. They do need a little TLC. So later this evening, because I'm going to be up tonight working in the lab, possibly, uh, I'm going to repot them and put them together as one plant. I actually should have gotten the third, because she's actually had the third, too. But I didn't want to be greedy. But I'm really grateful to her for these. This is the cousin to the godforsaken fiddle leaf. Uh, fiddle, what is it? Fiddle leaf fig beautiful plant but in air, all the plant groups the big discussion on these is that goddamn thing just all the leaves fell off well ficus audrey is supposed to be a great beginner plant we're gonna find out okay so shout out to ryan bradford of bradford botanicals for uh, providing me a new uh some new plants to play with awesome now as many of you know i had um decided that uh, I wanted me a snake plant or a Sanseria uh, plant that will cut, <laughs> look, for lack of a better word, cut a motherfucker, okay? Here he is. Uh, this is, this, I need to re, I possibly need to repot this because the base of it is not that stable, but this is the samurai uh, plant that I have been wanting. Don't touch these edges. They are sharp. They will cut you. Now, it is a guy that I follow uh, called Plants and Stones where he shows you how you can burn the, um, there's a way to burn off the sharpness, but I personally don't want to because I plan on keeping this plant alive for as long as possible and making it part of my plant security plan. Now, I learned from not only Hilton Carter, but also Ryan uh, that cacti and items like this, uh, succulents, those type of things, the prickly things, you should probably put those around your windows and things like that because either you're going to get stuck coming in or you're going to get stuck coming out. So, you know, if somebody decides they want to do something and with the way these prices are looking for these houses here in the Atlanta area, baby, mama might be living in the hood. So I'm going to need to give me some good security. So I think about a couple of these around the windows and stuff. 
that might keep somebody out, you know, or leave some DNA evidence, okay? So, I'm so happy I got my samurai plant. Hey, big sis, how are you? Hey, Cheryl. Um, doing great because I got my wish, one of my wish list plants. So excited. <laughs> Don't mess with me, honey. You're going to get cut by my plant, see ya. All I need now. They had pitcher plants, but I didn't want one of those. Because I, I want a carniv carnivorous plant. But um, Busy Bee sold out of their um, Venus fly traps. And all they have is a pitcher plant. I don't know if y'all ever seen a pitcher plant. But it looks like a penis. And I really kind of don't want that kind of plant. Not that I'm terrified of penis. I like penis. But I, I, I just don't want to see something like that in my house. It's a little bit too creepy and morbid looking, quite frankly. But here's another wish list plant. This is a Hoya rope plant. It is a baby. Uh, I am hoping, because I've not had any luck, unfortunately, with um, this type of succulent plant. But, but I think I know what I did wrong with all my other strings. So I'm I'm a, I'm a pray over, I pray over it before I bought it out the store because I was like dear Lord Jesus please please don't let this plant die because I really wanted me a hoya rope because the beautiful thing about it is if you nurture it and tend to it and take care of it it'll give you these pretty pink flowers um, gorgeous plant and 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 the price point was really good too okay so I don't know if y'all remember a few weeks ago uh, those of you on my Facebook feed. Uh, I had bought a string of pearls and I was very, very excited about these string of pearls. Uh, my string of pearls died. I, I don't know. I went out of town for a couple of days, came back and I said, I thought I bottom watered them before I left because you don't want to get the pearls wet. Some people do, but if you do wet them on the top, you do need to dab them because otherwise these things will shrivel up. Okay. But I think I know what I did wrong. The cool thing about purchasing from Busy Bee, they charge me a little bit extra for the pebble tray. Actually, this isn't the pebble tray. This is something I pulled out of my own kitchen. This is a pebble tray, so you can bottom water these. Uh, these type of succulents really need to be bottom watered, okay, from my understanding. Okay, what else did I get from Busy Bee? Oh, uh, uh, if you haven't noticed in my collection, I'm a big prayer plant collector. And this is a stromoth. Uh, I believe that I'm pronouncing that right. But this is a Calathea. Uh, it's known as the Magic Star. Okay. And um, I already have one similar to it. But it's a much bigger version. And it's a different variegation. Um, so anytime you, you see prayer plant diva always down for a prayer plant so just know that calathea uh stromanthi i think is maybe it's stromanth i don't know anyway y'all can correct me you expert plant people uh you know about that so i have a thing for dracinias or dracanias i'm not sure how to pronounce that either but uh i think this is called the song of india it's like a lemon lime variegation i've been wanting one and I went to Little this weekend and they had one. And I absolutely love these pots. So if anything should happen to a uh, uh, song, uh, you know, we can just, you know, use the pot because that's what I end up doing. I repurpose all my pots. Uh, but I love the Dracenia plants. They're really easy to care for. They're kind of hard to kill. Yeah, all my corn plants are doing pretty good. So I, 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 think, I think those are pretty easy. Ouch. My samurai plant just stabbed me. Uh, and then finally, this is a rescue. Uh, my other favorite plant, aside from the philodendrons and the prayer plants and the peperomias and the transcantia. Okay, I have a lot of plants I like, okay? But there's certain families that I've done quite well with. Um, and uh, this is a Chinese evergreen, the Anglina anglomenia family of plants and i like this one i've never seen variegation like this or leaves that vary like this now i have a feeling that this is probably going to be another plant that i have to repot if you watch my video from last sunday i had to 
go into the root system and free it from this hydroponics cage that they had it in because growers is the fastest way to grow the plants and manufacture and get them out now i did try to negotiate a price for these because this was a 20 dollar plant the most they could give me off was 10 percent. but then i remembered i said if this mofo die on me what's gonna happen it's going back to the store home depot okay just want to let you know uh but i wanted to rescue this one because it was the only one left like this um and it's a beautiful plant and like i said i plan to save it i mean look at those leaves look at that beautiful foliage roll that beautiful bean footage so that's pretty much all i did this weekend I have not accomplished anything I wanted to do, uh, including my repotting, because I know one of my friends was like, what happened to the clippings? I said I was going to do the clippings. I ain't done the clippings. I ain't done nothing. Okay, y'all just don't know. I'm tired and my motivation is down, but I'm determined to keep my plants alive. So, I, you know, I'm motivated. I've, I've got to repot some. Um, I've got to find homes for some of these plants as far as pots go. I thought... I had some extra pots at home, but I think I did just buy one random one. So I think this one might go in here. Yeah, it's not a perfect fit, but I think it'll work for it. Yeah, so that's one. But for my string of pearls, and um, I'm going to have to find a home for that as well as my Hoya, um, my Hoya rope. But um, I really didn't do a great job of filming this because my head kind of cut off. So please forgive me. But other than that, it's been a very good weekend. Uh, like I said, Busy Bee Plant Supply is in Ackworth, Georgia. It's like a 20-minute car ride up the highway off of uh, 75 to, I forgot what the other highway is. Y'all know, I don't know where I be going halftime. Last week, my sister was here visiting my, someone that's like my little sister. Uh, came and visited and we ended up going on a plant excursion but it was hot as hell and it was a total like I was like I can't do this I did buy a, a new arrowhead though um uh -oh. my little dog just came <laughs> but either way I'm like what is she doing I think she just ate um, but either way, that is all. Also in Ackworth, uh, be sure to stop off if you ever end up in old, I call it Old Town Ackworth because it is such a quaint little town. Um, they have a lovely restaurant called Henry's uh, Louisiana Grill. And it was delicious. And, and yes, I will concede to the purveyors of this fine establishment that yes, it is better than Papa Do. Um, there is another place I need to check out, though, called, uh, what is it, Louisiana Bistro or something like that that's here in, um, is it Smyrna? No, Cumberland, in Cumberland, uh, Cumberland Mall. I need to go check that out, too. Um, but either way, that is all that Plant Lady Diva J has for today. Uh, again, thank you, uh, Ryan, for uh, the lovely plants. Uh, I am definitely going to be uh, repotting them. And uh, we'll see if we can not make it do what it do. Because, uh, yeah, the fiddle fig, y'all have not given that particular ficus plant a, a, a good reputation. Everyone in my plant groups hate those plants. But they say the ficus audrey is a little bit easier. Um... I'm going to just trim, of course, as you can see this leaf, repot it in some um, Fox Farms Ocean. Uh, I forgot the whole name, but anyway, the Ocean one, because that seems to have the best uh, thing. I'm going to add a little uh, more of the uh, black gold peat moss to that mix. Uh, I really do it for almost all of my th uh, stuff because you, you need to have that aeration. Um, if you do have a soil that doesn't have a complete base, you, you definitely need to get some perlite and put that in there because that'll definitely keep the soil from compacting. Um, I'm trying to think what else did I want to share with y'all, but that's about it. You know, I, I just, like I said, it's just another weekend of me out here buying plants and I don't know where they all going to go. And I need to find some pots for them because yeah. But I did lay to rest a few plants this week. You know, rest in peace to my string of dolphins. 
rest in peace to one of my uh calathea prayer plants uh one of my medallion prayer plants uh we also got rid of some stuff on the balcony one of my coleus plants which is one of the easiest plants to care for i don't know what happened i think the storm kind of rocked it uh really bad um so i laid that to rest and uh, I had a thing of marigolds I had to lay to rest uh, on the balcony. Most of these are on the balcony. Um, I also had a succulent I had to lay to rest too. So, uh, you know, and that was okay. You know, it was $2 at Walmart and I just thought it was so pretty. But before I could even get home, it was already suffering from trauma. And um, yeah, I tried to propagate it like they told me to but that the succulent propagation didn't work either so you know i'm gonna work on that because you know that's something we need to know um but either way uh that's all i've got again i'm up now for the night so i might be uh repotty some stuff if not tonight probably tomorrow because um i really need to get in there reorganize my kitchen but either way y'all make it a great night happy sunday happy monday whenever you watch this video um shoot, the way i feel right now i might go to sleep because i just ate some leftovers from henry's but either way y'all have a great night i've been plant lady diva j and make it a great day